All right, today is gonna be the first day that I'm actually doing stuff to the ZX-10 RR. We're just doing uh, frame sliders and axle sliders. I actually don't have them out. I should have done that. Just leave it on. So for the axle sliders, I went with Litec. Can't really see them, but I'll show them off in a second. And then for the frame sliders, I went with the Graves Diamond. I just like the look of them. They don't really stick out that far. But I think they're gonna go nicely with the bike. Normally, when I'm doing stuff to the bikes, I have Darius come over to help me, but he is not available, so I'm replacing him with Antoine. You guys haven't actually met Antoine yet in a video. I haven't done one with him. I rode with him for the first time not that long ago, and it was a lot of fun, but I didn't have a GoPro battery that was charged. I actually met him through Kayan. When Kayan was learning to ride her R3, he ended up riding up behind her, and she stalled, like, how many times? Get in, get, come here, get in the camera, Kayan. I don't know, we came up to that stop Kayan. sign over there. I was trying to go to the park to learn how to stop and go in first, yeah. and he came up beside me and I was just like, hey. And then I was like nervous because someone was there and I kept stalling and I finally went. <laughs> then I went to a stoplight and I stole like maybe two or three times and then finally went, got into the park and went all the way down to the boat dock. And then that's where he kept following me. I was like, this is really weird. <laughs> But he was just, he uh, followed me to the park and he was giving me pointer, pointers and stuff. And then he invited me to the motorcycle group and then the female motorcycle group. And then I invited him to the group. Yeah, so it was actually really cool. I mean, he could have easily just went around her and went about his day, you know. But he chose to, to stay alongside her and kind of help her out. Because he realized that she was a new rider. So it was just really cool. And then it was actually uh, the first motovlog that we did. If you guys want to check that out, you can check that card. But we actually ended up uh, seeing him at the Parthenon where we ended up. He was with his son and he had this like huge remote control car. It was really cool. But yeah, he, he's become like a, a good friend. So it's pretty cool. But anyway, he's, uh, he's coming over. He should be here soon. I'm gonna try to clean up this area a little bit because it's like... No, but it looks crooked. Yeah, it's fine. Well, Antoine just got here. <laughs> I missed him. I heard him coming, so I ran out here. So he's got a 2016 ZX-10R. And it's very nice. He's got the full titanium SC project. Yeah, buddy. popped a wheelie when he left. <laughs> All right, so we had to figure some stuff out. The axle sliders are a little weird. In most axle sliders videos that I've seen, they have a rod that goes all the way through, uh, at least on the front one. But these, they came with these things, and I guess they actually expand. So it's not a rod that connects both ends. They just go in here like this, and then they expand, and that's supposed to hold them there. I don't know if that's gonna be good or not. We'll have to see. The other issue with these, they came with absolutely no instructions. So that's always good, right? I actually, I don't have any tools, so he went to go get some tools. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get a Ford Escape. Okay. Yeah, it, it definitely wouldn't have been on my list for cars to get at all. <laughs> See, I like the look of these. Yeah, it's definitely a, a nice look. You looked at any uh, any of the engine cases? Well. <clears throat> I actually contacted GB Racing and I asked them if they had any plans for the RR to not cover up the RR logo. Yeah. And they asked for pictures, so I sent them pictures. Like, I'm actually talking to them about it. 
that I never heard anything else about. Because I think, uh, I want to say Woodcraft. Yeah. I think they do a half. Oh, really? Kind of. If that's the case, I might slide. look into that. Cause yeah, I think it's, I had to look at it and make sure, but I think it's Woodcraft. Maybe even Yoshi Mirror might actually have one. It's just a, a half case. Well, just, if, if that is the case, and and I find a company that actually won't cover that up, then I'll end up going with those. What yeah. we're talking about is the, the engine covers. I, did, I was hoping to find one that doesn't cover up the RR logo because this is the only piece that has it. Like everything else doesn't have the RR logo. So I'm trying to find one that wouldn't cover that up. And that'll pretty much be whatever company I go with. We got the first side done. Yeah, they're pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, especially if you go with no cut sliders. Now there's some that, especially on older Gen ZX10s, they, uh, you have to cut the look of these are awesome and they're pretty low i think one of the next things i'm going to invest in is pitbull stand yeah I'll, just I'll, to make the maintenance easier just to have some newer i need to get a, a new front stand anyway i was talking to chris at uh cool springs and i was asking him like if he recommended a brand he said pitbull they're, they're gonna last forever so yeah they seem like a best this bang for the book. So, hey, that's that. I think those look good. It's not too bad. Yeah, Graves has been known to make some pretty nice stuff. Yeah. Basically what it is, is as you tighten it up, it's gonna pull that spacer in, spread mm -hmm. it up. Did I get all the way down there? Yeah. Well, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take much. No. So if anybody has the light tech, since ours didn't come with directions, <laughs> <laughs> they have one that has this empty spot and that actually goes right here on the exhaust side. And then the other side should be the same as the, the front axles, but the other ones, front ones right here, see they're flat. So you see the difference. Whenever I actually have to have like the tire change, hopefully it doesn't cause an issue. <laughs> I mean, actually, no, it's just, depending on where you go, like Cool Spring, you should be able to just get in my heads up. And... Yeah. But yeah, if you get a chance, definitely check out a track day. Yeah, I want to. The Bowling Green track, the National Corp Museum track, is definitely a good track to start with. It's pretty wide open, so you can definitely stretch the ZX-10 out. And then, uh, still got pretty nice corners to he was also talking about the, the one in Birmingham. He said it's a slower track, so it'd probably be better for somebody starting out. Yeah, um, yeah, the uh, Barber. Yeah, Barber. Barber did. Motorsport Park. It's nice. It's uh, unfortunately, every time I've been out there, it always rains. Oh, really? I've not had that sucks. <laughs> a complete dry track day.
knew it was going too easy. Go. Yeah, got it on. This is the only one that gave us some trouble. You can't be afraid to go a little harder on that one. <laughs> yeah, if you don't have to pull the hammer out at least one time, you're not doing it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look pretty good. Sweet. Well, thank you, sir, for your help. Uh, no Appreciate problem. it. Anytime. Listen, right up the street. Yeah, <laughs> that, that helps too. Save you some money on yeah. shop work. Like I said, as long as it's not anything major, I don't have any problem doing it. As long as it don't require any specialty tools. Man, it's so bright. This is a horrible idea. Well, that was that. Uh, Antoine helped me out a lot, and he did the axle sliders, frame sliders. It was actually really fast, so there was nothing to it. The only one, like I said, that gave us issues was the one over here on the exhaust side. But yeah, like I said, uh, the Litec axle sliders, we actually had to look up a video because they didn't give us instructions at all. So that kind of sucked. It was actually pretty easy, but you still might want to look up a, a video or go by this video or whatever. Um, just because that, that one where it's got the groove on the inside, that, that was the only thing that we had to worry about there. But yeah, that's it. This is the very first thing that I've done to this, the uh, 2017 ZX-10 RR many more things to come during this whole process we were talking about the um the engine covers i'm still trying to find a company that doesn't cover up the rr logo so if i can find it cool if not you know i'll probably end up going with gb racing if you like this video give us a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe because once we hit a thousand subscribers i've already said it kn's gonna ride this it's gonna be awesome <laughs> see you guys in the next video